that right. you gotta you gotta put in play. Now, how much of a risk is the space junk that we've left in the environment? Oh, we were started. We were oh. freaking out the other oh, day about so, how many pieces got, are up there. We got so there's countless thousands of bits of space junk. Yeah, from ch- ch- chips of paint that fell off of to space bolts. to bolts and to nails and retro and rocket and boosters. Boost. And yeah, it's all it's all up there, and I'm and I'm wondering whether we haven't been visited by aliens yet because they saw the space junk orbiting Earth and said, forget that. I'm going to visit some other planet. What I'm going to risk my life. Crazy, so, short-sighted approach to space travel. Yeah, to so litter- if you bring up the NASA Orbital Debris Office website, you can actually see the debris that NASA's tracking, oh. basic, almost in real time. It's crazy They'll how show much it to there you. is. And it's, it's like a beehive around the Earth. So, you got it? Yeah, there it is. Okay? That's the debris around the Earth that, astro- astro- that uh, NASA tracks. And, and that, there's a that, failed Japanese experiment to try to... Uh, and that outer ring that you see, that's the the altitude of geosynchronous satellites. And that inner... Now, that should be... There should be a video of that. Uh, fun, uh. Just fine. Yeah, go to the bottom right. Go to the bottom right. Right there. Click on that. Play that video. Uh, it's, not pictures. it's not a video. No. Why isn't that a video? I'm sure there is a video somewhere. Yeah, there's a video they'll, on they'll that site. It. So uh, you can just see... The movement of these pieces, and it's so launch windows have to know when to not hit stuff. So, oh, so when, when you have launch, it's not just is everything aligned right? Is okay, will you successfully get past the the debris? And there was a Japanese. Um, uh, they they had an experiment to try to capture it with nets. It was a, a recent mission. Oh yeah, I, I, so didn't work. Yeah, so. The problem is the low orbit stuff will eventually. B- fall in and burn up the high earth orbit stuff will never go away there's nothing to destroy it and so they can't capture that stuff well you need a very clever this this, this stuff is moving eighteen thousand miles an hour <laughs> so what's your net what just what are you doing <gasps> that's so crazy oh yeah there yeah, you there's go there's the video oh yeah. my god uh, go, go higher res on that uh, sure i there's a high i know there's a higher res oh <sighs> god that's 1080 no, it's not. It's not from NASA's YouTube panel. It's from oh, somebody else. Okay, somebody else. Panel. But that's that's the kind. Of, so all of that's that's debris that you're looking at there. Ugh. So anyway, yeah. So your concern for debris is well placed, and we may we may be putting so much debris in space that we will close ourselves off from space travel because of the dangers it would take to get through our own garbage heap. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. And this was all started in the 1940s. 1950s like when did they start shooting stuff up there? Oh, no 1950s Sputnik. Ugh. Yeah 1957 that was the first satellite right first anything yeah first, first anything in orbit. Yeah. Oh God and in that short amount of time Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's like it's like a, a, a dumpster 60 years planetary dumpster. They ruined the whole thing ruined the whole thing they had it for billions of years <laughs> in 60 years They filled it up with junk. Yep. that's okay. Just... There it is. Yeah, Oh my God, that's terrifying! See that? Yeah, that's going around the Earth. Oh my God! All of that. Oh my God! And has anybody ever hit anything while trying to do something? Uh, well, so uh, what exacerbates it is remember when China? When was this? Nineteen? Oh, two thousand and four, two thousand and three. China destroyed one of its own satellites. Yeah, what in was that upper about? Orbit. I remember. Some of that. Yeah, yeah, and they basically did a kinetic kill on a satellite. So a kinetic kill, for those who don't know, is you don't need explosives if the speed of the projectile and its kinetic energy is higher than the energy that would be in the explosive shell itself. Oh. <laughs> so it knows a fascinating uh, calculation to make. So, so here it is. So I have this delivery system with a warhead. And I put some bomb device in the warhead. And you can calculate how much energy that is. Then I send it, and it hits, and it blows something up. But suppose I send this thing really, really fast. Really, really, really fast. I can calculate how much kinetic energy this thing has. There will be a point where I give it so much kinetic energy, the kinetic energy is greater than the chemical energy of the conventional explosive that I put in the warhead. Oh, like Shoemaker Levy. Well, no, well, at, for example. Yeah. For, no, no, I, I give you a terrestrial example. You ready? Okay. Um, it's so it's what we call a high speed collision. This is more than you bargained for in this in our time together, but I would tell you. No, okay, it is. You ready? Perfect. <laughs> the argument for the longest time that the craters on the moon 
were calderas from volcanoes oh. and not asteroid impacts the geologists argue strenuously these can't be asteroid impacts they've got to be calderas these thousand craters on the moon well, why because everyone is a perfect circle and if asteroids are coming from space they would come from all angles and if you come oh. in at a shallow angle you get an oval and even shallower it'd be more ovals. So you'd have a whole range of circles and ovals and ellipses and this. you don't see that. They must be calderas. It was not Explain until a caldera. It's a volcano. Oh, that just a volcanic and it leads a crater. Vo volcanic crater. That's all. Like it Yellowstone. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a volcanic crater. That's all. 